I'll be reading casualties, you know, against the backdrop of that. Mm. The casualties are not only those who are dead. They are well out of it. The casualties are not only those who are wounded. Though they await burial by installment, the casualties are not only those who have lost persons or property, hard as it is to grope for a touch that some may not know is not there. The casualties are not only those led away by night. The cell is a cruel place, sometimes a haven, nowhere as absolute as the grave. The casualties are not only those who started a fire and now cannot put it out. Thousands are burning that had no say in the matter. The casualties are not only those who escaping the shattered shell became, become prisoners in a fortress of falling walls. The casualties are many, and a good number well outside the scenes of ravage and wreck. They are the emissaries of rift. So smog in smoke rooms they hunt abroad. They do not see the funeral piles at home, eating up the forest. They are the wandering mistrels who, beating on the drums of the human heart, draw the world into a dance which rights it does not know. The drums overwhelm the guns, caught in the clash of counterclaims and charges. When not in the niche others have left, we fall, all casualties of the war, because we cannot hear each other speak, because eyes have ceased to the face from the crowd. Because whether we know or do not know the extent of wrong on all sides, we are characters now other than before. The war began. The stay at home unsettled. By taxis and rumors, the looters of office and wares. Fearful every day the owners may return. We are all casualties. All sagginess are. The cases celebrated by Kwashoko, the unseen camp follower of not just our war. This is where we have to draw curtains on today's episode. As always, we'll be delighted to get your feedback through any of our social media platforms displayed on your screen. My name is Olakunle Kasumo. Remember, one great book can change your life. Bye-bye.